And today we are doing a painting of a road that is kind of going off into like almost like a sunset type sky. Um, I like to call this the unknown road because like many roads, we don't necessarily know where they're going, but it's all about the journey, you know? So today, this is what we're going to be working on. It's going to be real simple and I'll walk you guys through it like I always do. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to worry about that beautiful purple sky. Now, if you don't have purple, you can go ahead and just mix some red and some blue together. That'll work out just fine for you. Doesn't really matter. So we're going to go ahead and mix that up. And you're going to want to start with the top part and just kind of go back and forth. Get that nice, pretty purple going on there. At this point here, you can add a little bit of white to it as well. That'll kind of lighten up that purple. That's going to be really pretty. You're only going to want to go maybe about midway down. I got to kind of have it marked here. Only about midway down, maybe a little bit, a little bit less than midway. I'm also going to go ahead and just throw some red directly on there and then some white. And that's going to make that pinkish color because that's what we want like at the bottom. We kind of want the pink and then the purple here. So you're going to get those two colors on there, and then you're just going to blend the rest of it together with your white. So just kind of blend it all together with your white paint on there. Just keep going back and forth until it's blended just the way you like it. You guys don't be afraid to put the paint on heavy too, because when you put on that heavy paint, it does help with blending. So don't be afraid to do that. So we go ahead and we got those colors on there. It's kind of like, yeah, like it's like a like a pinkish at the bottom, purplish at the top. It's really pretty type sunset, I would think. I know I would be really happy if I saw sunset this color. And I do think I've seen some this color like in my in my short years of living. But you just want to keep going so you get blended to where you like it. And then after that, you're going to want to Mix some gray together if you don't already have gray. If you do have gray, go ahead and start in on that. If you don't have gray and you need to mix it, just take a little bit of white, a little bit of black, put it together. If you want it to be a little bit lighter of a gray, add more white. If you want it to be a little bit darker gray, add more black. So at this point here, we're gonna go ahead and we'll just paint in our road. So you're gonna wanna start here in the center, make a little line there, so you know where your, where your road's gonna end, where it's going off into the horizon. And then just make straight line down, straight line down. You want to kind of make it go out at an angle because if you just make it go straight down, it doesn't really give it any dimension. It doesn't really look like it's going off into the distance. But if you make it wider at the bottom and thinner at the top, it makes it look like it's actually, you know, the road's actually running off into the hills. So go ahead, fill that in with your gray. There you go, you have the road. It's just a basic gray right now. We're not gonna add any of the other details yet. And then on the sides, you're gonna wanna add brown. So just fill everything along the sides here where the, where the white still is, fill that in with your brown. We're not gonna worry about putting the trees or anything on yet. We're just looking for the basic base color right now. And I mean, if you're gonna paint on a tree, obviously you're gonna paint, um, the dirt below it first and that's what this is this is just the dirt and everything on the ground underneath it so go ahead and fill this in and then when you guys are done with this you're going to go ahead let it dry and then we'll move on to our next step all right i'm going to finish this up and i'll see you guys in a second when we go ahead and we start in on our trees thank you All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started on the trees now. So you're gonna wanna get your medium-sized brush. You're gonna go ahead and get some green paint. Now what I like to do is I like to mix my green and my brown just so I get a little bit darker of a green because I don't like it to be too bright of a green because this is obviously more like an evening type painting and you don't see a lot of like bright greens in the evening. You know, that's more of like a midday sort of thing. So I'm going to add a little bit of brown to mine. Feel free to do that. So 
go ahead and mix a little bit of brown and green together on your plate. And then we're going to go ahead and go up here and we're just going to dab in order to make the trees on the side here. So just dab, 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 dab in order to make the trees. So if you need, go ahead with your green, just, just green on your brush, go back in. If that gets too bright, go back in with some brown. At this point, just kind of throw it on your painting and see how it turns out. So you're gonna wanna do it on both sides of the road. You don't wanna cover the road with it, so just kind of go like along the edge. Leave a little bit of brown between the trees and the road. Kind of gives you that nice little evening drive type feel. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to actually add a little bit of yellow to it as well because there's going to be a little bit of light reflecting from the, the, you know, the sunset. And it gives it a little bit more color, kind of brightens up the picture a little bit. Just by adding a little bit of yellow, just dabs here and there. You still want it mostly green. There you go, you got those nice little trees in there. Like I said, you're going to want to do it on the other side as well. Bring it up and over here, kind of get it into the sky a little bit. And just fill it up with those green leaves. Just keep dabbing till you get it to where you want it. You might need to do a couple layers if you want it to be a nice bolder type green to cover that brown. Personally, I like it being a little, like I said, I like it being a little bit darker of a green, but that's completely up to you guys. I'm adding my yellow in on this side now too. There we go. So now I got my, my trees on both sides of my road. Now the next part, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start making my clouds. Now the clouds, I just used gray, but you can do whatever color clouds you want. Because I mean, in a sunset like this, the clouds can be any color. They can be like a navy blue. They could be like, yeah, like a gray or a navy blue. You might get like some purples or pinks in those clouds as well. Personally, I like mine gray, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm getting my gray together here. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add a lot of water to your gray. You're going to want it pretty runny. It's that runniness that's going to make it nice and soft and it's going to give you that, that puffy cloud type feel when you go and put it in. So make it pretty runny. You don't want it like dripping off your brush, but you want it pretty close. So now that I got that mixed, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to do swirling motions with my brush. I'm just using a small brush. And I made myself a nice little cloud there. It's very, you know, it's not like super thick. It's not like in your face, annoying or anything. Just ever so slightly faded. And just kind of chilling in the background of your sky here. I'm just throwing a couple in. Kind of throw little ones in, big ones, whatever you guys want to do. Doesn't really matter. All right, so now that you got that finished up, we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump in and do the center of the road. We have a dotted little white line. You guys can do two like yellow lines if you want to do that. I like doing the dotted line because dotted lines tend to be more of like a back roads type thing anyway. So just take the same brush you were using, the smaller one, put some white on it, and just do a dashed line right down the center of your road here. There we go. It doesn't have to be perfect. I know mine's not. You can see some of mine are a little crooked there, and that's okay. It doesn't matter. This is your painting, and it's going to be unique to you. So, then for the one of the second to last parts here, if this is dry, which it should be after you guys let it dry, you can go ahead and you can take a magic marker, because personally, I have an easier time with a magic marker here on this painting just because it is such a, a long straight line you're gonna wanna do. You might need to ask for help for this, that's perfectly fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and outline the side of my road with black using the black marker. And it can be 
It can be thick, it can be thin, it's whatever you want it to be. I didn't want to put too much on it, but I just did a little bit of black along the sides. And then me personally, I'm going to go back in and I'm going to add a little bit of like darker grays mixed in with mine here on the road. Just kind of make it look a little bit more rugged. It's however you want to do it. Let's give it that nice little rugged look. Like I'm adding a little bit more grays and stuff to mine along the side here. Grays and blacks. It's whatever you want to do. So it kind of gives it a little bit of texture on it anyway. All right, and then the last step, you're going to take your white using your small brush again. And I'm going to make a couple like little cross type stars on mine. If this is a little too fine, you can get some help. I'm just going to make a couple here. Kind of gives it that twilight type feeling. And then you can use the other end of your brush, the tip. Dip that in your white. And just kind of dab in order to make your, your little stars. And there you have it. You got yourself Road to the Unknown. All right, hopefully you guys liked it. If you want to add anything else at this point, you guys can go ahead. You can add some more stars. You can add some more clouds. You can add some more to the trees. It's whatever you guys want to do. All right, I hope you guys had fun. I'll see you next time.